Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This big chunky NECA triple freaky review thing is coming to you all thanks to my friend Mr. Larry McMullen. He sent these along as a gift to the channel. He wanted to see them reviewed and just, well, actually, I think he said he didn't care if I reviewed them. He just said, I want you to have them. And that's just super, super, super sweet. He even did this uh, awesome little card with Art the Clown on there and he did a really good job uh, designing that. It looks absolutely awesome. So I love that touch, Laren, thank you. And inside, he left me a little note saying, Dean, in life, it's pretty damn important to celebrate our passions. Thanks for celebrating some of yours, Larry McMillan. Oh, and that is awesome. And that'll be staying with me, man, this note. I really will treasure that. I mean, I've got my little Art the Clown section, so I'll go ahead and find a way to incorporate that in there. But Laren, thank you so much, man, for just an amazing, amazing gesture. Thank you so much. We got biff we got marty mcfly and doc brown uh, all from the first back to the future film absolute classic i love these movies and i grew up with them and this is a special one so i can't wait to finally crack them open and see just how awesome they are i have seen the review from the review spot on marty but i haven't ever watched a review on biff and i don't think i've watched one on doc brown either so it's kind of a fresh one for me and like I said being a big fan of these movies it's kind of special so everyone if you want to take a moment to say thank you to Laren McMullen for sending these along to review that would be awesome but he did a wonderful thing so thank you very much sir hope you all enjoy this video all right so there's Biff in this packaging comes with some cool stuff you got the almanac Two head sculpts, different hands, and some other bits and pieces. I'll check them out in a minute. And really nice packaging. Cool picture of the figure. And you've got the uh, background behind him for photography as well. Was it Hill Valley? I forget. It's been a while. Hill Valley? I think so. Bit of Velcro. Keep that shut. Nice. Oh, let's check out the back. The side. There he is. Old Biff Tanner. And then there's the other ones you can get. You got the uh, Tales from Space version and the 2015 version. So I saw Back to the Future 2 and 3 at the cinema, but I was too young to see uh, the first one. I guess I would have been five years old. So it's the only one I didn't see in the cinema. Uh, as to which one's my favorite, to be honest, maybe it's just the, the memories of seeing part two at the cinema and just the magic of it with the hoverboards and stuff. And I love the third one too, though. And I hope NECA do that. Some part three figures. Uh, let's check out the back. But you know, I think I'm... I don't know. Damn it. I can't I can't decide between part one and part two. And even part three. I don't know. They're all bloody excellent. Shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that. Pose action. Now, I was thinking, when I watched the review spot video, I was thinking, I'm probably going to rock my Marty McFly with the shades on. Just because I didn't think the, the head sculpt was dead on likeness, but I don't know, when I saw it in person in the packaging, that is really good. It is really good, so I don't know. I still might rock the shades, but we'll see. And this one, this is just, I had a little peek at this earlier. These head sculpts are incredible. Look at that. We'll get a better look in a minute, but this one in particular, the Doc Brown, absolutely incredible. Incredible paint, likeness, sculpt, the whole thing. Any credits on here for, let me see. Okay. You got all your credits there. Very cool, but nice individual packaging designs. That's very good for Biff, having the sports almanac. All right, let's start busting them out. And you know what, as I'm turning these loose, I was just gonna put on the Back to the Future soundtrack on the TV here using YouTube. And then the full movie's there in 720p, so I'm just going to have the movie playing while I'm unboxing these, because I know it's going to take a minute, so... Uh, perfect. I got totally sucked in, ended up having to really stop myself from watching it. Got to a bit where he's just gone back to 1955. But it got them all out, guys, and all the accessories laid out around them. And they just display so well with the beautiful artwork on the boxes behind them. Absolutely stunning figures. The likenesses, I mean... This one here, that is insane, look at that. And this head sculpt too. Perfect, absolutely perfect. 
you know, I'd say Mighty McFly is the, the sort of, uh, how do I put it, um, or the least accurate out of all three, but it's not bad at all. And then you've always got the, the head with the shades on. Now, from watching the bit of the movie that I've seen, just sitting here, I'm reminded that the shades are more of a kind of mirror effect rather than black. I mean, you can see that on the box as well anyway behind him. But Biff looks absolutely incredible. That's uh, second place for best likeness out of these three. He also comes with another head sculpt. And some awesome little accessories. You've got the almanac and then in here, I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but you've got the ooh la la. Uh, no. Yeah, that's in there, but they don't come out. They're kind of stuck in there from what I can tell. But that's cool. Yeah, what was this? I need to zoom in. All right, Western Auto Stores. Ah, oh, is that the receipt for the repairs on his car? Hill Valley. And you got the enchantment under the sea dance mm, flyer. It's really cool. And then Marty's accessories are awesome. You got the camcorder. Nicely detailed. And I really love his guitar. We'll get a closer look at that soon. And the skateboard with the, the real working wheels. That's really cool. His backpack. And then. Just not so much with Doc, but you get the, uh, the kind of blueprints for the clock tower, I think. And the vision after he banged his head and saw the flux capacitor, flux capacitor, and the letter. Oh, if I can pick this up. Uh, I know his name's Emmett Brown, but it doesn't look like that says that. What does that say? I don't know. Before I forget to mention, folks, there's one character I would love to see NECA make an ultimate figure of. And I posted it on Instagram today, and I've probably posted it on Facebook or Instagram in the past. But it's Mick Dundee from Crocodile Dundee. I love that movie. And I just think it would translate over to an ultimate figure so well. I can imagine the movie poster on the box would be just awesome looking. And the actual figure itself, you know, Mick Dundee, with maybe two heads, one with the hat on, one head with the hat, the, the hat off. Um, and maybe a full life-size crocodile like he's wrestling when he first comes into the, the bar uh, in Australia. But man... I'd really, really love a Crocodile Dundee Necker figure at some point. I'm sure a lot of other people would as well. A lot of 80s kids and 90s kids. I mean, Crocodile Dundee, for some reason, is on UK TV a lot. Like, the last year I've seen it on TV over 10 times. And I'll always stop what I'm doing and watch a few minutes of it. I just love those movies. The second one's good too, but the first one, just absolute classic. And I just would love Necker to do that. So you never know. I mean... Some dreams do come true of finally getting a Kessler Wolf from American Wealth in London by NECA. That's going to be incredible. Hopefully that will open up the doors of possibility to more werewolves. Maybe the Howling, Bad Moon, Dog Soldiers. Who knows? Anyway, back to back to the future goodness. Now let's just take a look at this guitar because it is awesome. I wasn't sure, even in the review spots video, I still kind of thought the strings might be real. I wasn't quite sure. I mean, they look so convincing from the front. But now, having it in hand, I can see that they're painted on, but it's very convincing, seriously convincing, and just beautifully detailed. Let's take a look at the back of it. That's nice. Ooh, they've even bothered to, uh, yep, that's pretty good. you got your, uh, your screws there, remove that, start tinkering around. Your strings go through here, come out the front. Got your volume, and uh, what's that, humbucker? I'm not sure, but packs a punch for a little... A little beast that it is. It's got a strap, so we can strap that around Marty. That's nice. Now his skateboard is very cool. You can actually, you know, do some tricks. And just do an ollie. No, all right. But you can do stuff. Look at that. Madrid, Valterra, I think. And yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the paintwork. Look at the texture. No expense spared. Beautiful. All right, now here's a little height comparison. Seems pretty on point to me. And I gotta say, man, was it Thomas? Thomas Wilson, was it? I think that's his name, Thomas Wilson. The guy who played Biff. Absolutely the perfect bully. 
you know, you hate him, but you can't wait to see him on screen again because he's just great. Absolutely loved Biff and I'm so glad that he was in all three films. But yeah, height comparison, looking good. But they really, I mean, he looks much better in person than he does in that picture. I know it's a different head sculpt, but the actual figure in person, I've got to tell you, man, they really nailed Biff. Right, so I figure my next move should be putting each figure in a pose that I feel best kind of represents their character from the movie. Or, you know, one of the many options that you've got. I mean, especially with Marty, you've got all the different accessories. But blah, blah, blah. I'm going to see what I can do. I'll come back at you in a few minutes. All right, so I posed Marty pretty good. That's kind of what I had in my head. I wanted to incorporate the skateboard and the camera. Can't have the guitar. Oh, I forgot about the backpack. I might have put the backpack on him as well. That looks pretty sweet. Um, now he's not filming and skating. He's just kind of stopped skating and about to start filming. In case you're wondering. I kept it pretty simple with Biff. You know, just bring the fist up. Letting you know what time it is. That'll get it done. Looks good to me. Now for Doc Brown. All right, and for Doc, I just got him holding this letter. I wasn't quite sure what to do with him. I was too busy looking at the head sculpt, just getting blown away by it. And then there's the other one as well, which I'll have to incorporate. But I think I'll bust out the rotating base and just get him turning around. And change over to the alternative head sculpts. But absolutely 10 out of 10s. Ain't gonna tell you. No BS. These are well worth the wait for big fans of the films. Always dreaming of figures. Obviously Hot Toys have made 1-6 scale versions, but I always knew in my head if I was ever going to bother with Back to the Future action figure stuff, it would be the NECA 7-inch, because I just don't have the space for the big guys. So this worked out perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Now here is Marty McFly, posed up on the rotating base, looking sweet. Check out all the details as he comes around. It's pretty damn good like this actually. I may end up rocking this head after all. Let me just get in a little bit closer for you. Check out the details. There's clothing. Excellent work by NECA. Good proportions. I don't think they could have done much better than this. Move on to Biff. All right, now on to Biff. Throwing his weight around. Got the more aggressive head sculpt on him. Again, really good proportions. Great height for this figure as well. And his turned up jeans at the bottom. He's got tiny little feet. Oh. <laughs> Who knows, maybe, maybe it was rocking size fives. Looks about right. Just zoom in. Check out the details on his head. But a really good job sculpting all the clothing. And getting in the double bend in the elbow. Pretty easy to change over the heads. It's a fine looking piece. All right, let's move on to Doc Brown. All right, now before I change over to the alternative head, I just switched out the little accessory here to the picture of the flux capacitor. And I just love this head sculpt though. The expression is perfect. It's absolutely amazing how they've managed to capture Christopher Lloyd so well in this scale for the price point. They really followed through with the paintwork on these. Look at that. It's perfect. Alright, so let me change it out to the other head sculpt now and I'll change the pose. Alright, now this is just next level. <laughs> Look at that. It is awesome. See, I want to display them like that, but I want to find a way. I like that they've included all the articulation in the arms, but from this view, I don't know, it can look a little bit distorted in the elbow section I mean you're not going to be able to avoid that but I don't know I might find a way to maybe use this head 
but maybe just put the arms down by sides. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But just to show you, you can articulate really well. Let me zoom in on this head sculpt. And check it out here as it comes round. That's fantastic. <laughs> Man, that is dead on. Absolutely dead on. That's crazy good. So I'm going to have to really think about how I'm going to display these. I mean, I'm definitely going to display Marty like this, but holding on to his skateboard that got away from him there. Oh, never mind. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing with him. I think I will pretty much rock this with Biff. And yeah, I don't know. I might just leave him like that. I think I'll get used to seeing the arms. That's fine. It's a great piece, man. It's articulated figure. What are you going to do? Forget about it. Oh, man, the memories, nostalgia. Washing over me like a, a warm wave of sticky 80s goo. I'll just give you some footage of all three rotating together, which I think looks absolutely awesome. And they've all got considerable height differences between them, so obviously they've taken some care to make sure that each character is represented properly. Oh man, ugh, these are really, really good. These are incredible. I mean, I already said at the beginning they're pretty much going to be 10 out of 10s, but that's the situation, folks. I see no reason not to. Some of NECA's best work, and they've done so much good stuff. You know I love the company, and they just... It's hard to keep up with them. They make so much stuff. I haven't even scratched the surface, but I love pretty much everything I've ever seen from them. And these are incredible. I'm going to look into the you know, Part 2 stuff. And keep my fingers crossed for maybe some Back to the Future Part 3 stuff. And maybe the DeLorean, man. I really would be tempted. There's no way I'd you know, venture into the 1-6 scale DeLorean territory. It's just, I ain't got the space for it. But I could just about handle a NECA, you know, DeLorean to go with these guys. That I would, dare, you know, I'd seriously consider picking that up. So I hope maybe they drop that on us at some point in the future. But I am absolutely blown away by these. Now, a cool little detail is they obviously weren't allowed to do the full-on Nike swoosh, but they did give you some of the swoosh, just not the little tick on the end of it. And on Doc Brown's leg there, you can see where the cable ripped the end of his trousers. That's pretty sweet. Nice little details. So if I get the right blend of red paint, you know, the right shade, I could finish off those Nike swooshes. But I don't think I will. I'm pretty satisfied with how it all looks. Really nice texture on Doc's shirt there. Let's see. Fine work on Biff with the zip action as well. And Marty over here with the most amount of detail. Very good work on the denim. And the windbreaker life preserver, whatever you want to call it. Just awesome, man. Awesome. just show you these guys on display that's probably how I'm going to display them just with that main box the one with the film poster and Biff holding on to the almanac Marty with the camera and the skateboard and Doc Brown just looking absolutely ridiculously good that, that's just a mind-blowingly good piece and that's pretty much how I'm going to display them folks beautiful and the great white shark is a placeholder for something truly special that's coming to the channel very soon can't wait to show it to you i never thought i'd get one and well i'll tell you more about that later but it's coming up dream come true for me and uh mr great white will have to find a new spot once it turns up but there uh, they look fantastic together so i'm going to wrap up the review folks i want to say again a huge Massive thank you to Larry McMullen, man. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity and thinking of me and sending these my way, man. It's just a beautiful thing that you did. And I want you to know it's truly, truly appreciated. 
I will always treasure these pieces in the collection. Like I said, man, I grew up with these movies. It's a massive nostalgia hit for me. And another hit because Necker have just hit this one out of the park. So, 10 out of 10s all round. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You'll probably see these guys popping up from time to time on the channel and on Instagram. Uh, just got some ideas for Michael Myers and Doc Brown because of that face expression. <laughs> you know, keep an eye out for some horror. Um, you know, guests in photo sessions mixing up with these guys. It should be real fun, but yeah, man. Thank you again to Laren and drop a like on the video. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Always good to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you real soon, guys. Take it easy. Bye bye. Thank you.